What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Honest Diecast. Today, a very exciting episode. This is the unveil of my first Diecast Misfits build. Hashtag Diecast Misfits first. And as you can see, I have decided to do one of my favorite Hot Wheel castings, which is the 930 RWB Porsche. Iconic, probably the most influential Hot Wheel casting that has fueled my Porsche passion. This was the card that I had to find. And this is pretty much the card that started it all. So this is the casting that I chose. And I was trying to find a theme to to build off of this. How can I make it better? How can I make it different than what it already is? And I think you'll see, I chose a pretty wild theme. So let's get this thing out of the package and put it on the turntable. So again, a beautiful casting. Just so much going for it from the wide wheel arches, the basically double decker spoiler, missing rear bumper with the crazy tri exhaust, everything on it. It's just, it's such a great casting. Uh, we've seen this car in RLC. We've seen it obviously in the silhouette set uh, from a few years back. And then we've also seen it in transports in the purple version. But this is the one that started it all for me. So this is what I decided to build. Now, when I was thinking about it, I wanted to do something aggressive, but you know, something kind of crazy, but also realistic, something that definitely exists. I didn't want to do anything, uh, you know, fantasy or anything like that. So what I decided to do is I decided to use a couple of real life cars for inspiration for this build. First and foremost, and you will probably discover once the final product is unveiled, the Huna Pegasus the Hoonigan built hill climb Porsche. So I wanted to take this casting and do a hill climb theme to it. So the way I started doing that and started planning that, that part of the build was, okay, how can I make it look more aggressive than it already is? And while I contemplated wheel choice and I took the body apart, I started looking at the casting, looking at the body a little bit and I saw the front bumper and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep all of that under stuff down there and I looked at the back and it doesn't have a rear bumper so the thought that immediately came to my head was how about if I chop the front bumper off and build something in the front and uh, that's certainly what I did <laughs> I didn't get footage of that but it certainly happened and then looking at the interior, the interior is so good the way that it is. It's kind of set up in a race format. It's a lot like the 935, the 934 RSR, the 934.5. The interiors virtually all look the same. They have that little half roll cage in the back. They got the two bottles, uh, probably fire suppression bottles is my guess. But looking in there, I saw the steering wheel and it's just a solid piece mold and that wasn't gonna do it. So I knew that I was going to put uh, some 3D printed parts on this and the steering wheel was gonna be one thing, but not just that. I decided let's get wild and crazy with it. Let's put a rear mount twin turbo setup. So this is me basically fitting wheels on the body and also trying to put together and piece and fit this rear turbo setup, you know, how I wanted it to look. So 3D printed turbos that you see in the picture are from RD Custom Diecast, my good friend Rodney over there, uh, who's also in Diecast Misfits. So after planning out the body design and everything, I needed to pick a wheel. So the first thing that came to mind was this Boulevard 70 Chevy Nova, the wide body one. I knew that I wanted to do some deep aggressive wheels. I wanted this thing to really really stands out, really look mean and aggressive, and that was my first choice. So here they are on a test body. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to use the wide rears all the way around. This casting comes with wide, wide wheels in the back and shallower wheels up front. And as you can see, it rolls perfectly fine. Everything clears, no, no grinding of the fenders or anything is needed, uh, but it looks really good and it looks really aggressive, but I was, Skeptical about the five spokes. So I wanted to go back with what this car came with, which is the six spoke, the Volk TE37 lookalikes, which is found here on the back of the Boulevard Lycan Hypersport. 
Uh, great looking wheel. And honestly, I think this wheel fits a little better, at least for this build. I'll definitely use those deep fives, but here is another test Porsche with those rear Lycan Hypersport wheels all the way around, front and back. Now the rears are spaced. So obviously I use my beaded method for the axles. I use beads on the inside as well to space those wheels out. There's a comparison between the, the Volks on the purple and the black one with the five spokes. Here it is, the finished product. Dub, dub named the Jaegernator. So 930 RWB Hill Climb Porsche, a monster. <laughs> yeah, I thought it came out pretty good. Obviously the things that are gonna catch the attention the most is that massive front splitter and that massive spoiler. Uh, so yeah, this whole car is themed basically off of uh, the Hunapig and as well as the BBI Motorsports uh, Hill Climb 991 GT3 RS. Uh, the rear turbo mount setup was originally inspired by the BZMoto uh, Porsche, which is just an absolutely beautiful machine as they all are. Um, but the main looks, the main takeaway from this thing is definitely Hunapig expired. So. That front splitter, obviously the massive large front channels, it has actual brake ducts that would channel the incoming air directly towards the brakes. Uh, there's also a rear diffuser back there. Probably see it a little better there. And there's a good look at that rear turbo setup with the polished compressor housings and the titanium exhaust. Obviously that hill climb, that dual deck wing, which I thought came out pretty good. Um, it has a completely flat section to it, as well as a secondary section that's angled up for more downforce. Whole ball, the whole body is polished, polished to a mere finish, finished off in Spectre Flame Orange, and then most of the decals are done by Jeff at WW Replicas, and a couple of them, a couple of the Jaeger decals are also from Mod My Ride. Uh, but there's a good look at the Spectre Flame finish, as well as some of the interior detail you can see in there. I did not snap a, p a picture of that interior section. I wish I did, it came out really great. But as you can see, you can probably see all that, that wing a little bit better, that rear section that's angled up. There you go. There you go. So yeah, massive, massive hill climb. Hill climb wing with lots of downforce. Uh, rear diffuser as well, as you can see. And an underneath view gives you a little better look at that rear diffuser, that front diffuser, and the side skirts that are on there, as well as the bottom detail. Also says, also signed by me, uh, dated August 20th of this year, 2022, which is the date that I finished it. And also signed uh, Diecast Misfits first, along with the Diecast Misfits water slide under there. But yeah, it came out really good, guys. It's, it's mean, it's aggressive, it's purposeful. Um, you guys be the judge. You guys tell me how, how you think it came out. You know, does it look Huna, Huna Pegasus? You know, does it does it look like an actual hill climb car? Uh, and then right here, I wanted to do a little roll test because this thing is absolutely on the ground. This thing, with all the arrow and everything that's on it, it cannot go any lower and it is perfect. It's just to the point of barely, barely rubbing. Uh, but it still rolls freely, which is awesome. And uh, a little side-by-side -side comparison. So as you can see, that beautiful factory 930 RWB next to the Jaegernator. So as you can see, quite a few things done. Essentially, the body is the same. And again, you can see on that rear, that rear spoiler, I chopped the upper section off and then built my own spoiler out of styrene. Everything's built out of styrene. Front diffuser, rear diffuser, side skirt, spoiler, everything. And uh, yeah, I thought it came out really good. This is definitely one of one of the, if not the most insane car I've ever built, ever. I mean, even compared to any of my putty wide body builds, definitely the most wild Porsche, most wild Porsche I've ever built. So I think it came out really good. I like the theme, kind of giving a little head nod to my, my, my decal dude, Jeff. He wanted me to do a Jaeger Porsche. I was like, okay, let's do this. 
But yeah, that is it. This is my Diecast Misfits first build. I'm super excited uh, to debut this video and uh, I'm super excited to see my teammates as well. Their builds, their show offs, I'm super excited. I hope this makes them proud, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully they think very highly of it and, you know, hopefully it fits in and, and uh, does, does the team justice. But yeah, make sure you stay tuned for everybody's builds. It's going to be a really awesome build off and stay tuned for our future, uh, our future October 15th build off, which is open to everybody. So I encourage you to join and tune in. And again, thanks for tuning in and seeing this build. It's just, it's been a crazy ride and I'm, I'm very proud of it and I hope you guys like it.